He will restore your health, relationships, and finances very soon. The upcoming week will bring remarkable miracles, substantial breakthroughs, and even greater blessings. This weekend, anticipate an unexpected turnaround in your job, finances, health, and relationships. Brace yourself for huge miracles as God intends to elevate you to new heights that no one in your family has ever reached before. Always remember that with God by your side, nothing is impossible. He can make a way where it seems like there is no way. God says before this weekend, you will experience an unexpected turnaround in your job, finances, health and relationships. Tomorrow, when the sun rises, you will receive unexpected financial blessings. Your next three months will be filled with restored health, relationships, and finances. You will be sitting in your new car outside your new home, admiring your million-dollar bank account. The Almighty God will bless you, heal you, guide you, provide for you, and protect you from harm. As you enter this miraculous season, expect to achieve victory after victory, overcoming every obstacle and succeeding in everything you do. Before the end of this month, an extraordinary blessing from God is on its way to you. The stressful situation you're currently facing will soon be over, and a golden period in your life is about to begin. Pray this with me, Lord, I believe that you are the Son of God who died on the cross to save me from my sins and grant me eternal life. God will fight for you and protect you from all evil. If you let him into your life, he will take away all the pain in your heart and replace it with joy, happiness, and never-ending peace. God says don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, present your requests to him with thanksgiving. Thank him for calling you his child and never leaving your side. Thank him for another day of life. Today, God is transforming your life, turning all your sorrows into joy and setbacks into comebacks. He will change your situation from poverty to richness. Remember that material possessions are temporary, but the love and guidance of God are eternal. Speak out with conviction. I am deserving of the flow of love, healing, and abundance that is coming my way. Believe that with God's grace, Everything is possible. This is your bounce-back season where you will regain your peace and prosperity. Always give thanks to God for all the blessings, both big and small, and you will receive even more blessings. Repent of your sins and turn away from your selfish ways. Give yourself completely to God, asking for forgiveness. Allow Him to take His rightful place as your Savior and Lord, guiding you and helping you live a life that pleases Him. Prepare to experience love and laughter once again as God restores everything that your enemy has stolen from you. Trust in God's promises. Because you trust Him, He will give you life as a reward. He will rescue you and keep you safe. You are loved by God. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. God is saying that I've got a pretty incredible ending in store. In fact, that's why you need to get excited again because the happy ending I've got coming is going to rock your world. Things are going to be turned in your settlement on all sides. Whatever I touch, let it give good results. I declare that March 1st to 31st is for victory and breakthrough. God is saying to you today, my child, I need you to keep going. You are so close to your breakthrough. The job you've been praying for is words hurt. Words have so much power. Be attentive to the feelings of others. I love you. I've heard your prayers. Himself strong on your behalf. God is healing bodies, cancelling debts, restoring marriages, and breaking addictions. Fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Don't try to rush God's plan for your life. Everything will happen exactly when it is supposed to happen. Have patience, faith, and never stop believing. 
Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. Yours, but God's. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. You must learn to trust God's timing. You could be sure that right now, God is arranging all the pieces to come together to work out his plan for your life. He has been working in your favor long before you encountered the problem. Don't grow impatient and try to force. Loves you until he is enough. No one else will ever be the right fit. Get closer to him. Comment Amen if you agree. God says praying changes everything. Just pray. You are in a storm and a storm will hurt. But it will not defeat you. I love you. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach and be patient with difficult people. They gave her this blessing as she parted. Our sister, may you become the mother of many millions. May your descendants be strong and conquer the cities of their enemies. God says, I will make your life meaningful, but I need you to walk with today. You are going to receive the flow of love healing, and abundance that you deserve. Your challenges and problems will be solved in wonderful ways. Your entire family will be blessed and miracles will appear when you need them. Type yes if you needed this. God says, don't worry, I have not given up on you. You can tune in with its native wisdom, pure quietness, meditation, generate its connection, and focus on who you are becoming as a more enlightened, wiser, and happier self. Let's go. Dear God, be not far from me. My thoughts rage, and I am slowly sinking into the depths of despair. Your word says when my anxious thoughts. God says, stay still. I am taking control. I will figure this out. Remain in my love. Ways that the Bible instructs us to pray. God is going to share you with blessings, new opportunities, and new ideas. Whatever you're worried about, God has a plan. She can handle every challenge that comes her way. Over your life, say Amen if you receive it. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them, for the Lord your God he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Type yes if you believe in God. God is saying that. If God has said it, then he will do it. We are not entitled to anything or anybody. Nobody owes you anything. I understand the pain of not getting your way. That's a pride and ego issue. I know what it feels like to fight for love and wanting to be wanted by someone who doesn't feel the same way. That's a self-issue. Never stay in a situation where you're unhappy. That's how people use you for their own gain. Live a peaceful life with your presence, Lord. In the name of the Father, Jesus, we receive blessings. Amen. Dear Father, bless us to start this new day with all your grace. Guide us and protect us in all our ways. Be our strength, Lord. Be with us. Thank you for your presence, Father. In the name of the Father, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Take time to thank him if you're having a tough day. Read these Bible verses. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. Remember that I am always with you until the end of time. You do not understand it now, but what I am. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In due time, he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Psalm 71-4 Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. Too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. 
When you're not making progress, are you doing the right thing? When you're not seeing growth, have faith and patience. Radical obedience to Christ is not easy. It's not about comfort, health, or prosperity in this world. Radical obedience to Christ risks losing all these things, but in the end, such risks find their reward. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily injured. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things. I, I am calm and relaxed. I am at peace with how my life is right now. I am loved. I am appreciated. Because every second he loves you. This is your confirmation. God has heard your prayers. Everything is going to be all right. 1 John 4.16 and so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God. And let us take all of your questions to God. Take all of your disappointments to God. Comment Amen if you believe it. The Lord is good. He protects his people in times of trouble. I am with you and I watch over you. When fear and anxiety fill your heart, Remind yourself that I am there with you, not far, right there with you. A prayer for today. Dear God, I need you more than ever. Silence the voice of every negative thought and the lies from the enemy in my head. Remove any doubt and unbelief in me. Grant me your peace for my confusion, joy for sadness. Give me hope for hopelessness and fill my heart with your love. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Type yes if you are ready. Thank you for today, Lord. As I go through this week, help me recognize that it's not about me. It's not about who I am, but who you are. Type yes if you believe in God.